Harvey was just really the type of person that was really a big teddy bear. You just really didn't know it till you really got to uh, got involved with him. Uh, Harvey was an easygoing guy. However, on the field, you wouldn't know that. Harvey was the superstar in the family. Harvey instilled in me for as being in the, in the limelight, being in the public. It's a certain way you have to carry yourself, a certain way you have to act. Harvey was more of the businessman in the family. I knew him as dad, whereas everybody else knew him as the beautiful Harvey Martin, or too mean Harvey Martin. Fun to be around, caring, loving, always making sure I was on the right track. Harvey was not an athlete uh, initially. Uh, Harvey became an athlete because my father, and that's when he went out for the uh, football team at Sarah Zumwalt. And then he went to Jay and Irving. He was on the football team there. And then he went to South Oak Cliff. Coach Jett was the coach that really pumped the guys up. Harvey was the one that everybody really just loved. And he had more of a commanding role with his teammates. And so he was the one that Coach Jett could actually count on. I remember Harvey was in um, high school and go to the Cotton Bowl to watch the Dallas Cowboys practice because they would practice there. Never did we ever think that that's where he'd actually build his career. We grew up in a very restricted family household. And then when you get out there and you're, you're going through the, the pains and trials and tribulations, that's, it's one thing to do that not in the limelight. It's another thing to do it in the limelight. He learned that um, you have to be very careful with the people you let in your circle. And that was one of the things he wanted to get across to the youth. He gave his best to others. And uh, education was, was key. And uh, so that's how the Harvey Martin Dream Foundation came about. I miss him. I wish he was here today. Me and my cousin to get the Hall of Fame at the same time on the same day. And I think if he were here today, I think we'd have been like, I mean, it's just big celebration. It, it would have been one of these historical moments. I mean, you got two Martins going to the Hall of Fame at the same time. You have the NFL Sports Hall of Fame. He would, I feel like he would be just as excited about the Dallas ISD Hall of Fame because that's how much he loves his city.